This will be the first time you play Arsenal since David Raya joined them. Do you know if the club have given Arsenal permission for him to play tonight? <laughs> we just talked about it. No. <laughs> but I'm, you know, in this situation, I'm a little bit. Uh, I like David so much. I think he's a fantastic keeper. I'm so pleased that he's playing the uh, last, what, it was three games for, for Arsenal. And I think he's done very well. And it, it, it didn't surprise me. I think he's a, he's a top keeper. And for us as a club and a story, it's, it's fantastic that we've developed a player from the Championship to the top of the Premier League, to the top of the uh, elite. Uh, and I think it's something definitely me I'm very proud of being part of that journey. I know there's a lot of other staff members, players and the club should be very proud and the fans um, that we can do that and we hope we continue to do that with other players. Uh, if he plays tomorrow, I will welcome him back um, with a hug. If he doesn't play, I'll do the same. So uh, no matter what, it's a, it's a pretty good team we're facing. How will you look to approach the match tomorrow considering I think it's with all due respect to Newport and Arsenal. I think it's a slightly stronger opponent. Uh, I said from the beginning that we'd like to go on a on a cup run. Um, so we will put I'll put as strong as possible um, a, a team out there um, for the game tomorrow. Now it's been reported that Arsenal are potentially going to step up their interest to sign Ivan Tony in January. What are you expecting to happen in that transfer window? In January? I don't know. The only thing I'm focusing on is the game tomorrow. So, uh, of course, we are, as you know, uh, James, we are preparing uh, transfer windows ahead. So, so, of course, we are looking not only at striker um, options or fullback. You know, we are prepared for a, any, any position if something should happen. Um, and I think it's also fair to say that we, if we wanted a striker in this summer, we could have tried to get, we got that in one in Neil, uh, you can say that. Um, so, yeah, let's see. Is there a fear that Ivan might not play for Brentford again? That's very, very, that's a, too far ahead. Uh, I'm not even thinking about that. Let Ask me when we get a little bit closer, then probably can't answer your question, but maybe, maybe a little bit uh, closer to the actual situation. You're welcome. They, 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 they look like I expect them to look like a contender for for the title, uh, like one of the best teams in in Europe this moment in time. I think when they when they hit their high level, they are very difficult to um, to, to face and play against. Um, so, like a consistent, very good team, um, and and there will be a big test for us tomorrow. Yeah, of course, that's hard, and I think it's, when I, when I talk about bounce back. I expect a good performance tomorrow. I don't expect us to win. I badly want to win, and I hope we can win. I believe we can win. Uh, but but for me, it's more the performance because that's the consistency. I remember two years ago, where we were first year in the in the Premier League, we had a bad spell. I think we lost five on a on a bounce on land, didn't win in eight or whatever. But consistently, all those performances, except one, was at a good level. And I think that was one of the reasons why we were not dragged down in a hole, and we just, you know, it's just to know, okay, okay, finally it was there. Now we won, uh, and I think that's a big, big thing.